Hello Church, this is Mario Bolivar from Skinny Atlas Presbyterian Church. Thank you for watching. Our lesson is inviting us to consider three elements of God's reality. The first element is to acknowledge that there is a time for everything and a season for every activity under the heavens. That's Ecclesiastes 3.1. The second element is the awareness that the foolishness of God is wiser than any man's wisdom and the weakness of God is stronger than man's strength. That's 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 25. The third element of God's reality is the assurance that with the Lord a day is like a thousand years and a thousand years are like a day. That's 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 8. Now, why am I bringing these three elements to your attention? Because I believe that having those three elements uh, for your consideration and life of your family and the church will help us understand how God's timing is perfect. Our lesson acknowledges that it is hard to wait when everything you have lived for has been dismantled or when prayer doesn't seem to make effect, or when our worst fear become reality, or when the thing that you want it to happen happens at the wrong time in the wrong place, or why sometimes things are just perfect. On this day, we are reminded that God is in control. We must wait upon the Lord and when God calls, then move. For now, Saturday, before Sunday, our wait continues. So what is the purpose of waiting? Why didn't Jesus resurrect on the next day? Why wait on the third day? The purpose is to remind us that we are not in control. Despite all our efforts to maintain the power or being in charge, we must surrender our will to God's. Only then we will learn the value and the power of our faith. At church, that is all for today. Until tomorrow when I see you at church, be blessed.